Hey guys, welcome back to Just Undecided. This week I am doing a sale haul from Aritzia. Aritzia has been a brand that I've worn since they ever became a brand. I remember in high school it was like just the coolest thing to wear and to shop at. So I've partnered with them to choose my favorite items from their recent sale which is shoppable now. So I wanted to let you know that Aritzia did gift me these pieces but I did send them each of these pieces that I personally picked out because they're very true to my style and something that I would personally buy too. And it's all linked in the description box below but I'm gonna get started because there are a lot of items and I can't wait to share with you. The first piece is of course this top that I'm wearing. I am obsessed with how soft it is. I did get it in a size medium. I'm surprised that it fits like a small so I think I would order a size up if you want it to fit like this. Also my favorite part, how cute is this embroidered pineapple? Another white tee. This is a little bit different. It's like a little crop top and it has the elastic waistband at the bottom and I really like how long the sleeves are and they're accentuated with like a thicker band so it's a lot easier to roll up. The shirt right before, because it was so soft and so thin, it's really hard to roll up for this look. But I really like how this is like a play on a normal t-shirt but it just like looks really cute. You can crop it up a little bit more but because I'm just not the biggest midriff fan for myself, I would probably just tuck it in. So it just makes it a lot easier to get that cute tucked in shape without actually having to tuck your shirt in. So I also got that top in a black color. It's just nice to have it in two colors. I've actually been dying for this shirt or a shirt like this for a very long time. As you know, I'm a huge fan of men's fashion and like the bowling shirt with a lot of print is very in for them. So I love how Aritzia slash their Wilfred brand has something for women that just accentuates our body shape but still gives me that same look. This is a very like breezy, breezy, material. I'm just going to check what kind it is. So this is 100% viscose. I always say it weird. I just really like how thin it is, but it's still not see-through. Like you can't see anything through it. And it's not crop crop, but it's not super long. So I can, I actually would feel comfortable wearing this untucked, but of course we have to see what this shirt looks like tucked in too. So this is what it would look like tucked in. Because the material is so flowy, it just billows over very nicely. And here is an up close look at the seams. It's done very well. So it's not like a cheaply made top. One thing I would note is that it does wrinkle a bit, but I think it kind of works with the vibe. It's very billowy, so it's not very obvious when it's wrinkled. So this is a very similar top, but that one was from Wilfred. This is a Babaton brand. So Babaton for me, I do find that they fit a lot larger than the rest of the brands. So this is a size small. The rest of the tops were also a size small, but you can see this one does fit a little bit larger, but I do like how it's fitting. It is longer, so it makes sense that it is wider as well. This one is 100% silk. So you can see it's like, it has more shimmer to it. The last one is like a texturized matte crepe. So this is what it looks like from far away. Kind of hits just at the bum. And so this is like all tucked in. Or I think we can do like a little tie. So look how cute it is tied up. This is definitely one of my favorite top so far and like the last one too. They're all my favorite. I'm just rambling now. On to the next. Remember a couple of videos ago I told you how much I love camisoles and how versatile they are. Aritzia definitely has some of my favorite camisoles. So this one is a Babaton one. I'm just gonna tuck it in because I don't like how long it is on me right now. This one is very, very cute. Like I've had some plain ones, had some lace ones, but this has like the really cute peekaboo mesh detailing on it. And then it just kind of gives that imitation that it's a lot lower, but you're still 
covering the bits that <laughs> you need to cover. I think that you can wear this one alone or underneath a sweater or a blazer. I got this one in a black and a white that I will show you very shortly. So it does have adjustable straps, which is super, super important. This one is a size small. I think that I could probably go with an extra small. I just forgot how uh, big Babaton can, can fit. So this being a small, being a little bit too large, I had to put the straps all the way to the front, but I think it still looks cute. If you are looking for sizing tips, I would probably go a size down when ordering this camisole. This is what, what the white one looks like. Very similar. It's, I just wanted to show you that it's a true white. It's an optic white. It isn't an off white, like a cream which is so important when you're trying to match it with matching white pants or a matching blazer. I love how this top looks like a casual tank or it can be really dressed up for a nicer night event because it is silk and so delicate up here. All right, so this is a super cute top. Um, I didn't know what to expect when I saw it because it looked so short and I was like, is this a bandeau bra? <laughs> but it actually is so cute. It, hits right at where high-waisted jeans would, so you, you don't even see midriff. And this part is just like the extra fun part. You're actually hugged completely underneath with this elastic, almost like a waistband. So I don't feel like it's gonna fall off at all. Plus, look how cute it makes your body look. Like it just makes you look like you have a short torso and really, really long legs. I would definitely recommend this top if you're looking for a super cute strapless date night or like a summer night out with the girls top. All right, and for those nights where you are wearing this top or something similar to the amount of little material, <laughs> you can actually slip on this cardigan, which is such a cute shape. Like I've never really had a dramatic cardigan before, but this is what I would call a dramatic cardigan. So this cardigan is a size small. So it fits very true to size and it is 55% wool and 45% cotton. So it's perfect for those cold summer nights. So up close, you can see the thick ribbed material that it comes down into two buttons and a really thick band. So this is what it looks like unbuttoned. Just really, really cute shape. I think I like it. I like that it's very different from the other cardigans that I have and that you can keep it baggy here, but it still gives you the shape there. All right, let's move on to the pants. These are Agled E jeans. They're the Riley Fit and the Medium Wash. So these are my first mom jeans, I think, that are not 100% cotton and I really like them. They don't, they don't look like they have a lot of spandex in it. Like up close, you can really see that they still look really vintagey. It has the five button fly that keeps this lovely shape secure over wearing them more. It is super high waist, so I can wear this crop top without my belly showing. And the butt is plain, which is perfect. And they go downwards like a mom jean. So this is what they look like from afar. I have turned them up a little bit because you know I like my ankles to show. But they do fit, I'm pretty sure, like a 32 inch inseam. And I just really like how comfortable I feel in them. So these are definitely one of my new favorite jeans. These are Le Levi's by Aritzia. So I guess they had a little collaboration. They're exclusive to Aritzia. So these are wedgie fit, but they're like a true black. There's no fading whatsoever. It, like the true black just makes it look so much more flattering. You don't have, like you don't have any distressing or fading to make you look bigger in parts. It just makes you look slim all the way down. These ones, I barely even had to tuck up. I think I just did it because I'm used to it. I can probably just have them come down straight and they would still look fine. So this is what they look like completely straight down. They are definitely a high rise. They sit above my belly button. It's also the classic button fly. Real pockets, real pockets back here. These are 99% cotton and 1% elastane because you really need that elastic for this super high rise wedgie fit. Otherwise, 
it will definitely be a pain. So I know I did a whole haul on denim shorts, but it's very, very hard to find comfortable non-denim shorts that don't look like pajamas. So Aritzia's done a really good job with these. They're 100% linen. I bought them in the black just because I needed a pair of black shorts. This cuff is like seamed in so it won't move and it just gives you a little bit of extra pizzazz on the bottom of the pant. Super large pockets mean that I can actually fit my phone in there and it's an iPhone 7 Plus for your reference. But yeah, these are a size small so they fit definitely true to size. Next up are a pair of linen trousers. So these are super, super high-waisted, even higher than the other jeans that you just saw. It has a zipper fly and then it ties up with two hook enclosures and then this cute, cute linen tie. This is a size two. I wouldn't go smaller for me. I normally wear 25, 26 in jeans and this is just hugging me right where I want it to. If I went to the zero, it would start ruching. And because it's linen, it's definitely gonna stretch. This is what it looks like from afar. It's really high-waisted, so it hugs your hips again, just like the other long pants, apparently. Have a favorite type of pant shape. So they hug, and then they just flow down. They don't flare, they don't get wider, they just are very straight-cut leg, and then it hits right above my ankle. I'm, well, I get this question a lot. So I'm actually 5'5", five, five, closer to 5'6", and this is how it fits. Normally, I like to buy pants with an inseam of like 30 inches to sit above my ankle. But I think I'm truer to a 32 inch if I wanted to hit the ground. And I paired it with that ruched t-shirt, and it's perfect. Like, I don't even need to tuck it in, and it just fits and sits on top. Yay! Now I know what pants and type of things to wear this top with. All right, we are moving on to one of my favorite pieces. You do know how much I love jackets and this is definitely one of my new favorite jackets. It is a silk robe slash trench. It's such a cool color. I don't even know how to describe it to you. It's like a grayish purple. It's called a modern taupe which I think is pretty true. Like in certain lights it looks gray, certain lights it looks purple. Cause I know you guys are gonna be asking me what color it is in person. It has pockets, which is so ideal. You don't get a lot of silk jackets that put that pocket in because it is so hard to make it without getting the ruching along the hem of the pocket. So they are a little bit long on the sleeve just because I did tell you earlier about one does fit a little bit bigger and I still ordered a small just because I wanted this rope to really flow. And all I have to do is really just roll it up and it still looks super cute. It does have a tie too. There's no button enclosure, which makes it, I guess, a true row. It might not look the best because I have the tie underneath the jacket right now, but this is kind of what it would look like. All tied up. This is what the jacket looks like from afar. This is how long it is. It hits just at the knee for me gonna unbutton it because it makes me look like I'm kind of pregnant. I think it looks really cute with this gray and the white. The whole color family really fits and you can see how flowy it is from afar. Even though like I feel like it might wrinkle a bit because this material is so luxe and thick, after you stand back up the wrinkles will probably come out. It does happen with any type of silk like you sit down in it and it will wrinkle but I don't think this will be a huge problem with this one because it's really good quality silk. All right, so this hoodie is also one of the first hoodies I've probably gotten in a long time other than the acne one. This is like a zip up. I used to wear zip ups all the time in high school and kind of just, I don't know what happened to my love for them. They just stopped. But after this hoodie, I think I might have reignited my addiction for zip up hoodies. I just love this color. It's like an oatmeal slash off-white. So this color actually reminds me a little bit of like the Yeezy collection, but a lot cheaper. <laughs> it's almost a crop, but not really. Zip it up. This is like the shape of it. It's not as long as like a lot of other hoodies. I kind of sit usually here, but it's not a crop hoodie. So I just like that it's really formulated to fit like a woman's body. 
and it's so soft guys it's so soft and it has super oversized hoodie which like I like the one of the things that I can't stand about hoodies is like if the hood like can't go past here on your head like what's the point of it you need to have all this room so it's like extra cozy and that you can really wrap yourself in it the sleeves are a little bit oversized as you can see when I stretch my arm out like this the shape of it is just ideal super ideal for like a weekend outfit plus look how great this color looks with gold jewelry perfect so let me show you the inside it's super super fuzzy it's definitely like a thicker sweater because it's really really fuzzy probably would bring it like to the cottage camping like to the would wear this probably to the farmer's market on the weekend I just paired it with the linen shorts to give you an idea of how long it is too like you can wear it with shorts without it like hitting below where the shorts end this is a size small by the way you can definitely get it in a medium if you really want it to be oversized but definitely fits true to size so i saved one of the coolest pieces for last this is a jumpsuit i actually haven't owned a jumpsuit in i would say three to four years like a long dressier one this is 100 percent linen and it is a size two and the color is cairo so i would call it like this really dusty pink almost beige so i well like you know i only wear pink when it's not so pink and i think this one really shows off my tan i definitely think i need a tan my shoulder a little bit more but like imagine if the tan went all the way up it has pockets which is so good so this jumpsuit is like a wrap around blouse so you kind of get into the pants it has a side zip right here so you zip it up and then you kind of put this shirt wrap on and then you wrap it around your stomach so it really gives you the chance to have and accentuate the smallest part of your body and then it kind of flows up into these almost like kimono robe sleeves and then to show you the bottom of the pants they are almost like wide they are wide leg, leg culottes that just attach the rest of the body so really makes you look super slim and it's so comfortable because the only tight part is the part that you can control so it's the wrap and you can tie it as tight as you want as loose as you want so this is basically like you're walking out in public in your pjs but it doesn't look like your pjs because it just looks so cute i do really like the pleating here most of the time i don't love pleating because i feel like it could make you look wider and larger in this area but this really helps the linen flow perfectly down to the ground all right folks that's the end of my Ritzia haul i hope that you like the pieces i chose i am so so happy with them i am definitely gonna wear all of them all the time if i can fit like 10 outfits in a day as usual leave me any questions or comments which one's your favorite which one you didn't like on me um if you have questions about sizing you know the huge leave me some comments below and if you really like this video don't forget to like and subscribe and i will see you all next time